Well, hello and welcome to another edition of Graham Jam, where I come to you live from my living room just to give you a little 15 minute bit of music. And today I have titled this concert Unaccompanied because I'm going to play all music that has no piano accompaniment. I've been really enjoying finding piano accompaniments to some of the pieces that I love to play, but sometimes it's really nice to play pieces that have no accompaniment. There's a lot of freedom in playing those types of pieces, and I'm gonna actually be playing two different flutes today. I'm gonna be playing my um, Baroque flute, which can also be called the transverse flute or the traverso. And I will also be playing my modern flute. So I'm going to dive right in. I am going to be playing one movement from one of the Telemann Fantasias. Uh, if you followed my jams back in the spring, I was reading through this wonderful book. There are 12 of them, and I am still only on number eight. But I am going to play uh, the E minor Fantasia, just the first movement. This is a Largo. These were written somewhere around 1732 or 1733. And I realized that Telamon was around 51 or 52 years old. I happen to be 52 years old and maybe that's why I like these so much because we're the same age, obviously living in, living in a very different time, but still a wonderful time to uh, a wonderful age, I think. So this is the Largo. Largo means very slow. And uh, a fa Fantasia E minor. I should just stop talking and play. All right, here we go. Tell them on. <laughs> And so now I'm going to switch flutes and pick up the modern flute. Um, the modern flute is also known as the Bohm system flute, um, B-O-E-H-M, or sometimes it's B-O umlaut H-M, uh, named after Fabled Bohm, who really kind of made the flute the way it looks today. And the piece I'm going to play next is actually the first solo flute piece, meaning unaccompanied, um, written for this instrument um, at all. And it was written by Claude WC, and this is a beautiful piece called Syrinx. And so I wanna tell you a little bit of the story of Syrinx, because it's kind of interesting. So for those of you who know your Greek mythology, which I really do not, I really only know this one, Syrinx was a great hunter and she prided herself on her chastity, but the god Pan was really smitten with her and he was chasing after her. And she's like, no way, don't want you to be my boyfriend, I don't want to be your girlfriend. So she was running away and she got to the river. I guess she didn't know how to swim, I don't know. And she prayed to her sisters, the wood nymphs, to do something and they turned her into marsh reeds. Pan grabbed out for her and it was too late, she was already marsh reeds. And he sighed, and his sighs turned into music because the reeds were hollow. And so he tied them together and he made the first pan pipes. And this is why pan is often um, depicted as a flute player, this type of a flute, and this really is a flute. Um, the flute has a lot of different um, 
shapes, I suppose. This is just the most common one. Um, and so if you've ever seen um, any movie versions of Peter Pan, he often is playing a, some sort of a little pipe of some sort. All right, so this is Syrinx and it is by Claude Debussy and it was written in 1913. just so sad. <laughs> I realize a lot of the music I'm playing today is um, actually pretty much everything is sort of minor key-ish. I don't know why that happened that way, but um, that's all right. Don't, <laughs> don't read too much into it. I actually love playing in minor keys. All right, the next piece I'm going to do, again, I'm bringing back the Baroque flute, so clearly I'm not doing my program in chronological order. Uh, sometimes I like to do it that way, but it was sort of fun to mix it up today. And I'm going to play the music of my favorite composer, Johann Sebastian Bach. This is the only solo flute piece that he wrote. This is the Partita in A minor, and I'm going to be playing the Saraband movement. Um, a Saraband is a dance, and it is um, typically, um, kind of the earmark of it is that the second beat of the measure, it's always in three, four, um, this, or it's always in three, but the second beat is always kind of emphasized. So this isn't really a saraband. I think that Bach just kind of took this name and applied it to this piece. Doesn't make it any less of a beautiful piece, but um, my fellow early music nerds will know that it's not a true saraband, but really beautiful. In the interest of time, I'm going to play it without the repeats. Um, but again, this is the saraband from the Bach Partita in A minor.
flip-flop. Anyway, the last piece that I'm going to play today is also um, going back to the 20th century, and so that is going to be on my modern flute. And this is a piece called Image by Eugene Boza. Um, I thought I wrote that. Yeah, so it was um, published in 1940. It may have been written as early as 1936, and it was um, written for Marcel Moise, who is sort of the grandfather of the modern school of flute playing. And so all of every flute player has at least heard of Marcel Moise. Um, the piece is in um, ternary form, so it's A-B-A. -A. What you'll hear is a slight introduction, and then there's an A section, which is very fast, a little sort of rhapsodic cadenza, and then a slow section, which is the B section, another rhapsodic uh, cadenza type of a part, and then we move back to the B, or to the A section again, which is very reminiscent of the original A section. Um, and this piece I kind of hesitated on because it's still kind of a work in progress, but you know what? I'm doing it, and so maybe I will uh, keep working on it after performing it today. I hope I don't mess it up too badly. But anyway, this is the Eugene Boza image for solo flute.
thank you for joining me today to hear two different instruments, but obviously each one of them played at two different times. And please join me next week uh, at the same time, 4.30, uh, for a program that is yet to be decided on. I'm still thinking about it. All right, so I hope everyone has a great day, and thanks again for joining me.